Guys, what? This is the interview. We need headphones. Okay. This is really organized. Uh, okay, here we go. Someone, one person wears the headphones. The main talker will wear the these headphones. Okay. Yeah, basically. Uh oh. See, we would have done this in the newsroom, except the newsroom is really mucked up as it were, okay? The news room? She whizzed by I heard the, I heard the ruse room. Okay. Ugh. All right, let's quickly. <laughs> okay, stand right here. Okay. Stand right there. Yes. Okay, introduce yourselves. Okay, um, I'm Joe Truck. And okay, Joe Truck. Joe stand, Truck. Joe stand. Truck as in the truck that takes things to places all across the country. Is I'm Joe Truck really and I play guitar and I am the lead singer and main songwriter, I suppose. And this is... Uh, Chris. Chris, come over here, Chris. Chris. Oh, he's got fear of the mic right now, he's blushing. I'll introduce him <laughs> because he's spazzing out right now. This is Chris Ix and he is my other guitarist and he's sort of what we'd call rhythm, rhythm, rhythm guitarist. Rhythm guitarist, but there really is no lead guitar. Okay, so like the name of the band is Rain Eaters. And how'd you get the name? There's guys? a 1958 movie, and uh, it's a really great movie. It's about uh, it's about these got things that come down from uh, outer space, and they hook themselves on the back of people's heads, and they're furry, and they make them do what they want them to do, and they're hooked into these aliens in a spaceship. But enough said. Anyway. It sounds like my last boyfriend. I don't know. Uh, yeah. But contrary to a popular belief, everybody's trying to say it. we got it from the Misfits song, but wrong. I guess you could say wrong. that that's wrong. Uh, so. Well, I mean, not that anyone would think that you're, like, any way near despite, influenced by despite that. Despite my t-shirt, no, that's love, wrong, that's we, wrong. We love the Misfits, no doubt about it, and Sam Hain, and we are big fans, big fans. The How biggest. big are you? Seven inches. We're... <laughs> Well, that's a quote. Stop exaggerating. Seven inches? Chris. Stop exaggerating. Are we allowed to say that? Are we allowed to say what? seven, seven inches? inches? Seven like inches. Seven, seven, seven inches. inches. Like, how big are we? Seven, seven and inches. A half. Seven and a half. I have to claim seven and a half. Chris, seven for you, seven and a half for me. I fit the single. Okay. Uh, it's forthcoming. Yeah, I bet it's forthcoming. Yeah, tell me about, like, this, this exciting new single of yours. And you have to speak more directly into the mic. Okay, I'm speaking directly into the mic. I feel like uh, Wink Martindale here. Anyway. <laughs> Um, the single's coming out. It's our first single. We just recorded it in... When did we record it, Chris? May we 11th. Record, yeah, we recorded it May 11th, right. And it's One three day. songs, so it's sort of an EP. The first two songs are fast, and the flip is slow, so I think people are going to be surprised. It's sort of gothic. <laughs> kind of Rob Rowan. <laughs> it's not gothic. I don't even know what gothic is. What is gothic? Yeah, a 45 really. grave gothic or a... Yeah, really. Well, gothic. I guess we sound like Bauhaus, you know. <laughs> no, this, the flip is slow, and I think it's going to make a lot of people, you know, wonder yeah. what we're into. Mad, yeah. Okay, so what's the name of, like, the first the first song on your single that we have queued up here? Okay, this first, the this first, first song. First song? This <laughs> first song is called Night Must Fall, and it's a good song. Well, how come we don't hear anything then? Well, it'll be on there. <sighs> We're waiting. Okay. All right, let's just put the output on. We have a great announcer who uh, talks before the song comes on, and his name is Vincent Price. Some of you may know him from his many movies. No, no. I think it's... it's yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should hum a few bars. And it's the... It's the okay. Yeah, of course. Oh, wow. Rewind it. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> who knew? Okay. Well, like funny noise that I, hear I have no head. idea. Okay. Chris, are you hugging me right now? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good. It's a fun loving band. Are you sure it's on we source are. and not tape? We're a big family. <laughs> there it goes. There it goes. Right, wait, no, Just no, rewind it. I want to hear this like all the way from the beginning. Yes. I'm sorry. Do I get to hear it? <laughs> can yeah, can we have this like in studio? Or yeah, we will in two seconds. As soon as like it comes on. Here okay. we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, hot, hot. Hot stuff there from the Brain Eaters, and that was entitled again. That was entitled "Night ah, Must right. Fall." Shut as the in, old door there. Night always falls because it's inevitable. <laughs> yeah, sort of like a bad interview that I'm doing. How about that? Uh, let's well, see. everything. I, I'm gonna say something in Terry's behalf here. Everything's crazy around the studio, and she's been running in and out of here so fast that you can't see her. So, <laughs> so uh, tell me, how long have the Brain Eaters been together. How many years, how many decades have you guys been together? Like, sort of like dead. We've been together about, what, about since early, early May? No, since uh, like uh, early April. Early April. Of this year. Of this, yeah, year. this year. Oh no! Wow. Right. We're, we're, we're very, we've been together not very long. 
but who knew? Wow, I got headphones. Great. Now Chris can hear everything. Well, how I find that hard to believe because you guys sound so tight and so good. Who? What? Three? What? Well, three I don't months. know. I don't it's know. three months, but the it's funny thing about this months? is this: we want to. We're, we're planning. TJ Quattrone made me what I am. Yeah, right. We're planning on getting like a single out every time we have three good songs. In other words, we want to eventually have everything that we've ever done on record. You know what I mean? So with these were the first, practically the first three songs that I wrote for us. And uh, I wanted to just get them recorded and get a seven inch out. And we're going to do the same with the next three songs we recorded. In fact, we're going to have a, sing no, a second single out by the end of the year. So when's this single coming out, the uh, Night Must Fall slash Crimson Night slash Suck single coming out? <laughs> slash suck? <laughs> <laughs> slash fiend without a face. That's the flip side. Um, oh, we name oh, songs it. after the chorus. No, the first song is called Night Must Fall. The second song on the first side is Crimson Nights, and the flip is Fiend Without a Face. Um, it's going to be out uh, probably end of June, most likely mid July, because we're going to get some distributors to get it around the country. But it'll be in your local record stores down in <laughs> Manhattan, and probably on some on Staten Island. Our music center <laughs> in uh, July. July, I think. Uh, well, you know, so you'll know you want to snap this up, so you want, you know, like... You know yeah, because we're pressing only about 500 of them first, and if it's you, a rare one, if you people out there buy them, uh, we'll press another 500, but 1,000 is going to be it, you know, it's going to be... So, I mean, how many people have the first Swans 12-inch? I never even heard I of do, it. I do, I do. Well, he used to play no. in a band with the drummer. I used to, Ron, Ron Gonzalez from Swans, w drummed for... He gets into Swans gigs One free. of my bands called Scarecrow, he was our drummer. Oh my god, I'm so impressed. Anyway, wow. Okay, so yeah, let's 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 a good segue. So, what are your former bands and like bands that you guys been in? All right. Well, I think as far I don't know. I'm speaking for Chris, but Chris has been in two other bands. One was called Ghost Story, and what was the other one called? I don't want to say it. He doesn't want to say it. He's embarrassed. All right. My I was in a band called Chop Shop. I was the lead singer, and we were around about for about two years. About like uh, I don't know. We broke up about officially about six seven months ago. And we had an album recorded, and MCA was interested in us, and we practically had the deal. But it shows you what drugs will do to a band. <laughs> really? We broke up due to. Though? Well, the other guys in the band were kind of a bit of somewhat druggies, and I couldn't take it, you know. What about the other members of the band? Who, who are they, by the way? The other members, you might not want to name oh, okay. them, so just say them. All win. right, well, again, here we go. For those of you who've tuned in late, I'm Joe Truck, vocals and guitar. We have in the studio here with us uh, Chris Ix. And he's guitar and backing vocals. Absentees tonight are Rob on drums and uh, Sarah Scythe, who is a hell of a bassist for only being, uh, she has only been playing about five months and she kicks some serious booty. So. <laughs> she will uh, uh, She'll be Chuck Dukowski in no time. Uh, uh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, Unless she uses a pick. That's true. Okay. She uses a pick. For those of you who don't know that about Chuck. Chuck uses, uses his fingers, pick, uses his fingers. and not only to play bass. Okay, so like, what, talk about the next song that we have all queued up here. I mean, you know, like the, the vinyl that we have queued up on the turntable okay. here. Okay, not one to be pretentious. I think it's kind of funny because there's going to be a lyric sheet enclosed in this, and the first song is called Night Must Fall. The second song is called Crimson Nights. So I'm kind of obsessed with night because I'm a night person, but uh, this one's called Crimson Nights, so I guess we can just go for it. It, it speaks for itself. Oh. Hot, ow, hot stuff there. Beats the booty off, expletive deleted, eh? We're too stupid to quit. Poser media! <laughs> Aren't you going to say queen of punk? Queen Chris? of punk, Terry's the Terry, queen, queen, of queen of punk. punk. Queen of punk, we came here first because Terry's the queen of punk. That's right. <laughs> wow, cool. All right, anyway. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, um, all right, that was a really a rocking song. You know, it, you know who it reminded me of, though? Uh, the Misfits. So uh, that brings me to the question of who are you? Who are your influences, basically? Not the Misfits. No, I, the influ uh, Misfits influenced me. Misfits. Have, I'm I'm the songwriter, so I get to say. <laughs> um, Misfits. Misfits. Definitely the Mad. Misfits. The Mad. Who are who are personal friends of mine, or at least were. Wow, well, I'm impressed again. Screaming Mad is nowhere to be seen. But Dave Hahn, Dave Id, formerly David, is a very good friend of mine. And if he's still around, and if he's listening, which I doubt he is, because he doesn't live on Staten Island. Um, they're they're an influence. Big I thought he influence. was in another band now, David. Dave, yeah, he's in Artless. He or yeah, at least yeah, he was. No, yeah. he quit. At one point he was. Yeah. He was in Artless. Yeah, he wrote a lot of songs with Michael Board. Yeah. But um, the Mad Misfits. I'd say a little, a few. A, I don't know, a little Dead Boys in a, in our slow songs. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. You know. Yeah. What, what about what about um. Uh, 
That sucks song. I keep forgetting the title. It's called Fiend Without a Fiend Face. Fiend Without a Without Face. A face. I'm writing it down now. Little That's bit of Andy sex game. Yeah, well, what, That's what a joke. Of... Yeah, that is a joke. That is the biggest <laughs> joke, joke of the evening. Here, I'll do my Andy Sex Gang interview for you. Oh, hello there. Oh, I'm Andy Woo! Sex Gang. I'm a rich Woo! man. Woo! Oh, a bunch of fun-loving guys you can see here. Once again, if you tune in late, I'm talking to the Brain Eaters. God's gift <laughs> to New York and to the world and to the world. And uh, let's see, what else, what else can we talk about? Right, so what kind of food do you guys like? Oh, we like, we like everything. We I like Indian had, food, Italian food. I eat anything. We had chicken cutlet <laughs> parmesan tonight. It was really, it was... It was good. What about brains? We, yeah, we, brain. That's no. like, yeah, See, that's, that's the okay. joke of it. I was if anybody ever comes to our shows, don't request Brain Eaters by the Misfits because we, we won't do play it. it. Okay? Oh, I know people on, are going to start screaming it. We didn't well, learn it on purpose. No, we know actually, every other Misfits song but that one. Yeah, that's true. That's true. We, we, we may be playing, actually. This is a good segue. Hey, what a great segue. Plug so for us. So, where are your gigs? All right, we haven't had even, we even, even had our first We gig supposedly yet. have this gig, yes. like, with, uh, with the, the Undead. undead. And oh, we're going to be Ed Gein's car, from what I hear, canceled out, and yeah. they're trying to get uh, damage. Ed Gein's car, a great band. Go see them at any chance you get, because they're one of the last great. hopes for punk in this God. city, which is very dead. Besides yeah, us. boy, the I'll tell you, the Gein boys really kick. The booty they, were big, they were the biggest Chop Shop fans, and I have to say this about the guys: they were at every Chop Shop gig, even when people were like just like three people there, they were slamming. They were going nuts. They, well, they I love the guy. I, I'm going to be talking. As a matter of fact, I'll be interviewing them the 19th of this month. If anybody cares to tune in, tune in. And uh, let's can we take can we take can we take calls in the studio? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could. Like you can see the phones are just lighting up. Oh guys. yeah, like yeah. a Christmas tree. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I, well, I just talked to Fred from Ed Gein's car, and he wants to do Questions, a show with us, comments. so I think CB's, yeah. I think CB's soon over the summer, us in Ed Gein's car somewhere, I'm sure and of if, it. And if, and if, but any immediate, if, like, definite gigs, just that? The that, 14th, that possibly. The 14th, possibly, at Great, Great Kills Beach. Beach. Um, possibly, but it's, with it's the still up in the air. Children, with yeah. the undead. Yeah, with, I think it's children and adult jails, I'm yeah, not sure. Yeah, allegedly they're allegedly. coming down. A lot of... If I, not, it's damaged. I heard Aggie Front was coming down, too. No, oh, they're on tour with GBH, so they can't oh, do it, I heard. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah, but that's I hope right. Damage come down, because they're nice guys, too. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're really good. wild. Uh, One of them works at TVs, or at least worked there. Let's see. Um, so what are, like, what are your favorite colors? Let me guess. Anyway. Should we help you out here, Terry? Should Green. We, should we help you out with the questions? Yeah. How about if we just ask each other the questions? No. no, you gotta understand, guys. Terry lost the question sheet, okay? <laughs> no, no. They're right here. Whoa. Whoa, no. Okay. Oh, hey, we'll kill My favorite colors. That. Why don't we just segue into the next song? No. Yeah, so well, actually, this is the other side of Brain Ears. You've been, hearing, you've been hearing the fast side, and this is the slow side. And don't think that this is an aberration, because we have other slow songs ready for you out there. <laughs> we're sitting here with... Well, actually, we're standing here with two members of the Brain Eaters. We just heard Fiend Without a Face, and the chorus is Suck, by the way, for all you FCC people. And, uh, so, like, oh, once again, wow. we're talking... Uh, ooh, what? Ooh, what? We're, oh, that was a bad... That's not ah, a bad word. Suck. Give me a gosh darn break, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, People say suck every day. Sewer no, workers say suck. Yeah, they suck. mean suckage. Yes. Yeah, no, no, their equipment wrong. sucks the slime from <laughs> our bowels of our fair city. Anyway, that's... We're talking to Joe Truck and Chris Ick. 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 Chris Ick. Sounds like a fish dude. No, it's Chris Ick. Anyway. I X. Oh, who knew? What? <laughs> anyway, so, so Chris, how did you get in this band? I begged. No, he, he didn't. Uh, say, talk, talk. talk. See, talk. like I was um, a bass player emerging on the non-existent Staten Island underground scene. Yeah. And he saw my ad. In I was voice. doing basically nothing with my life, and someone informed me of the ad that said, looking to form horror punk band influences, etc, etc, etc. So I called up and I said, um, I'm a bass player, and he said, we don't need a bass player, thanks anyway. And I said, well, I'll play lead guitar then if you need that. And, and I he said, said you play lead? He said, you play lead? Do you have a tape of you playing lead? And I said, uh, no, but I can borrow a guitar. <laughs> no, like, I really kick booty hole on bass. How I long do. had you been playing, Chris? Come guitar? On. Answer the question, Chris. Answer I it. I started playing guitar at the first Brain Eaters rehearsal. He did, and, oh and just God. listen to the single. Come on, he's been playing for like four months. Give the guy a break, please. <laughs> Give me a break. No. Music is my life. I, I told Joe when I joined that I would, like, wrestle alligators, and if 
you know, or be tour manager or something like that. Anything because like there's there's nothing around like this anymore. So yeah. So how well outside of Chris, the the, the wonderful story that we just heard about how Chris got into the band. How how were you guys formed basically? All right. Well, I was Chop Shop was at the end of its. I was at the end of my rope with. Eddie Oblivion and Andy Trash. Andy Trash, by the way, still sort of my friend. I can plug his band. They're called the Work Dogs. And um, anyway, and the, not yeah, not to get confused with the Straw Dogs. But we were at the end. We were just like disintegrating to nothingness. We all hated each other. And um, since me and him wrote all the songs, they couldn't go on because they couldn't take my material and I couldn't take his. So I decided to just like start something completely new. And I put an ad in the voice just on the spur of the moment that said, actually, if I can remember it right. Um, Brain Eaters, X Brain Eaters, Chop, X Chop, 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 looks to form a horror punk New York band, horror punk band influences, influences, et etc. et cetera, et cetera, <laughs> blah, 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 and I said we needed a guitar wow, and, and drums. <laughs> yeah, that was one of our influences, believe it or not. I, Belinda Carlisle, the Go-Go's have always been <laughs> friends and fans. She introduced the germs, if you have, they, they have a live 7-inch, and she introduced, ladies and gentlemen, the band you've been with the germs. And then Darby Crash came out and sang those immortal words. <laughs> Yes, I love uh, overmodulating. Belinda Baby Fats Carlisle. Get her away. <laughs> she, um, get this away. Oh, anyway. There's some silliness going on in this studio. Yes. Um, you know, you guys are so nice that I'd love to take you home for dinner, but, you know, <laughs> but I think my mother would freak out if she looked at you. So just give us an idea about the Brain Eater's image. Okay. I love as it were. I'm heavy, I'm he I've always been heavy into image bands, and as the Necros put it, we like bands who dress funny, like Kiss and the Misfits, and the so right, I, right. and the Cramps. You Kiss, know, man. I figure. Love guns. I right? love the Necros, and hey, I love Minor Threat, and but I just happen to be into having good music and looking interesting on stage. I don't know. I guess we look kind of. I don't know. How would you describe us, Terry? Come on. What, what do you think we look like? Well, I look stupid with these <laughs> headphones on, but uh. Well, okay. No, I can't say. It's well, like, we, we dress a lot very, very, we dress very black. I mean, a little leather here, well, a little leather there, you know what I mean? <laughs> a little well, in our a little underwear. Leather there. You look like somewhere. All right, all right. I don't want our to say underwear. Anything. You look like, like something out of one of my brother's S&M porno magazines. I don't want to say, you know, hey, I just... <laughs> Come on, I mean, people have... You read your brother's S&M have... porno <laughs> magazines, huh? <laughs> People have described us as sort of like right Sig Sig Sputnik meets Hanoi Rocks um, in a paint factory. U.S. Bombs. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, we're sort of, we're, we, I don't know, we, we dress a lot in black. We're very, we're, we're horror punkers, man. <laughs> We're, we're, no, death we're gothic rock. death, death posers. Rock. Gothic no, no. death posers. Now I do want to say that they don't look like posers. Okay, okay. they really don't. I, I, they, it, the and what you're wearing looks genuine, sincere, like you act. You know, you were born this. Well, way. it's been said in a lot of interviews, but I dress like this every day, right, guys? You can yes. all attest yes, for it. Really? Thank you. Yes. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes, I don't put day. on. I'm not like Jerry only. And please, Glenn, don't get angry at me for this because <laughs> I know you hate Jerry now and. He used to he used to dress He's like that on stage. He's not gonna hear it anyway. Jerry Joe. used to dress like that on stage. For those of you who don't have the old forced exposure Misfits interview, but then he used to wear suits to go out on dates. <laughs> ha ha ha! And take off all his makeup. Oh wow! Can you give me my lipstick back. Oh, please. Sorry. Here you go. Thanks. <laughs> the, the color doesn't really agree with me though. I know. Well, uh, well I'm not lipstick. wearing Nora's lipstick. Well, you're wearing Nora's skirt. No. It fits. Chris, it just doesn't fit. It fits. You know when we walk to we always get compared with virgin prunes. And I don't know why. <laughs> that's just that's a joke. That's a joke because we want you to come and see us at the uh, our first game. Yeah. So right. so tell us about your future plans. Maybe a tour. Or what? Tell me about your future. Plans. Definitely a tour. I have the itinerary is in my brain. It's not on paper yet. But okay, here's the, this is basically at the single in July, the second single in November. Um, a 12 inch hopefully by the beginning of next year and then next summer we'll be probably touring touring the East Coast but we'll be playing around the city and probably Jersey, Staten Island, Long Island and everywhere we can play um, this year so we'll be around, we'll be around soon this summer we're just gonna we're gonna start getting out there and kicking some uh, boop, no just kidding <laughs> pro UFCC people FCC. Oh, tell me about it. Um, let's see. Well, who are your heroes? Like, who, who like, who do you worship? Like, who, like, like, I worship myself. Okay? All right, we I worship you. We do. worship you. We yeah. worship you. We worship Terry. She's our first hero. But Chris, you, well, who are your heroes? Come on. Tell Tony me. James was, but he lost it on that Sieg Sieg deal, because like he was just like the greatest bass player in creation, and then he just blew it out his 
But um, that doesn't take anything away from the fact that in Generation X he was great. I don't know. I love. I'm a horror movie maven, and I lo my heroes are like Iggy Pop, Vincent Price, oh, oh, Christopher yeah, Lee. The man. Um, I don't know. A lot of them. I got a lot of them. But uh, Nick Cave was one of my big heroes. Bugs Glenn Bunny. Danzig, definitely. I have to say it, even though you, we're gonna get the inevitable. You know everything but Glenn's definitely one of my heroes he's mm. the guy who writes some great songs yeah so what kind of music are you into okay I'm punk in, rock yeah oh. I'm into like 77 78 punk I'm into like Eater and um, oh wow I love Eater Vile Tones all, wow. all that you, stuff who knows the Vile Tones except who knew why who, who knew me this <laughs> screaming <laughs> fist <laughs> Um, I love that song. Well, Chris is, I, like, I don't know, I like the Misfits, the Mad, I like all the people who have influenced this this band. This band is an influence of all my likes and stuff. Generation X. Belinda. Chris Misfits. likes Generation Belinda. X. Belinda. Belinda Black face. Flag. <laughs> I'm, I'm a heavy Black Flag fan. I like them a lot. Flag. Oh, I, I yeah. am Henry Rollins, okay? Henry Maybe Rollins. not. Maybe not, but anyway. What'd you say, Norm? Terry's got the ten and a half. <laughs> Terry's got it! So why don't you... Anyway. over and invite Terry over. <laughs> Wait, by the way, you're listening to WSIA Staten Island. It's midnight. 88.9 FM. Terry here with Yes, the Wonderful and Wacky Brain Eaters. And your next gig probably will be the 14th, the 14th of June. Yes. And great kills. And great Apropos, kills. If God. not, if not, I mean, it'll think probably about, I mean, be... Think about it. In, in old magazines, like, you know, like, years from now, they'll say yes and... Brainy's first gig was on in Great Kills. I know. Well, I like that. Uh, that's Staten not, Island. It sounds good. It's like Great Kills, you know, as in like kill someone, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like as in I kill children or, you know, whatever. I don't know. Can I kill tonight or something? Oh, Mommy. No, nothing like that. <laughs> yeah, nothing, nothing at all like nothing that. Nothing like that. Overlook the obvious. But I have to put okay. in one plug before we end that Sarah, Sarah Scythe, our bassist, was supposed to be here and she's sick. So and, and, and we if miss you get, her. If you get a chance to see she her probably would have said a lot more intelligent things than we than, <laughs> than we did. But uh, she's you know anyway that's and it. we like organized confusion. Yeah, we do. For, for those of you, oh that's right, we do, we do, we love them. In fact, organized we got a member here, don't we? Yeah, we have John, John Lisa. John from, Lisa of organized like confusion. Celebrities here. Wow. And wait, Rob, what's your band? The Argots. Yeah. Wait, what's Ergots. the Argots? So, uh, someone from the Argots here. We someone from. And we have two confusion. people from a feminist band. <laughs> No. Oh, I didn't know you were anyway, ASF no. anti and yeah, Nora from the raincoats. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyway, okay, thanks a lot, guys. Any closing remarks before I I, I shut your mics off? <laughs> yeah. Um, toodles. Well, actually, yeah, toodles. I guess. All right. Take thanks care. A lot, Peace guys. and love. Look for their single. It 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 kicks. Brainiac Records. The Booty EP hole. is called Night Must Fall on Brainiac Records in July in your local oh, record address, stores. Oh, address. Address. Oh, okay. Anybody wants any info, it is, uh, this is the address, and I'll say it very slowly for those of you who want to go get a pen, just run and get a pen right now. You've got your pen in your hand. It is Brain Eaters Fang Mail, <laughs> and that is F-A-N-G Mail, Brain Eaters Fang Mail, P.O. Box 1686, Old Chelsea Station, New York, New York, 10011. Any info, send us a letter, drop us any kind of line, and we'll write you back soon. Give the address again one more time. Okay, that is Brain Eaters Fang Mail, as in Dracula's fangs. Brain Eaters Fang Mail, P.O. Box 1686-1686. Old, Old Chelsea Station, New York, New York, 10011. In case you haven't guessed, that's a pun. Fan Mail with a G. Yeah, right. So fang I, Mail, I think, Fan I, Mail. I think the listener has like, grasped that. Does I the G yes. stand for, like, good... <laughs> As in like it does. No, it's just for gothic. It's for gothic. It's for gothic. <laughs> no, 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 no goth. No, no. Goth is dead, by the way. Anyway, that's another joke. Goth, goth died. Goth is dead, but it won't lie down. Goth died. We know it because Susie isn't a goth anymore. Yes. What is she? But Nora has something to say. Say it. Nora, Nora, come here. No, come here, Nora. Wednesday night. She looked nights. like she was like Pat in Pat Benatar clothes, like the striped. Well, that whatever. just goes to show you, Pat Benatar's type of music yeah. is it now. Then that's Pat what we're Benatar playing. That that's Lydia what we Lush like. Now, though. Yeah, right. <laughs> Best friend. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get this like thing moving along. Thanks a lot, guys, for coming down. I thought I'd put Thank something you. on that's Thank suitable. You. Uh, an old Pink Floyd cover, Sid Barrett, Thank Lucifer you. Sam, True West. Oh, yeah. 